Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, as a taxpayer, I hate political dog and pony shows. If you're going to waste my tax dollars, then waste it on education. Waste it on feeding the hungry. Waste it on giving shelter to the homeless. But don't waste it on dog and pony complaints about the judge's decisions in highly competitive boxing matches, right? Public money shouldn't be used to further, <clears throat> you know, the protection of some fighter's reputation because he or she has lost a professional boxing match. Now, the state of Nevada's Office of the Attorney General, unfortunately, has been forced to look into Manny Pacquiao's recent loss to Timothy Bradley, right? The promoter, Bob Arum, asked the state attorney general to spend a portion of her time looking into whether or not the decision <clears throat> in the Pacquiao-Bradley fight was a legitimate one. Talk about a waste of the time of a public official. Talk about a complete waste of time. Were I the Attorney General, I would just pop in a copy of the fight, pop in the tape, sit down and watch it. And if the fight is competitive, I would probably try to find a way to find whoever got my office to do an investigation criminally liable for filing a false police report. Well, the Office of the Attorney General actually did more than that. <clears throat> They literally interviewed the referee, Robert Byrd. Now, I know the people with agendas out there are going to scream that the Attorney General's office did not investigate uh, or did not interview the judges for the fight. Right now, let's be clear. Unfortunately, the Attorney General's office was asked to literally do a criminal investigation. Now, in the United States of America, we have constitutional rights. You have a right against self-incrimination, right? In fact, lawyers will tell clients whether they are innocent or not, right? The lawyers will tell the clients never talk voluntarily to the police. Never. Right? You know, the uh, point is, you have a right here in the United States not to talk to cops. Now, let me just say this. Understand that when something as silly as the request to open a criminal investigation is done after a prize fight, what you're in essence saying is that the judges who scored the fight were on the take, that they committed a crime, that they are being investigated for criminal wrongdoing. And so if you're law enforcement, knowing the public relations nature of the level of scrutiny for this event, you're not going to approach the judges because you don't want the judges to invoke their right against self-incrimination, right? Not that they've done anything wrong. If you're in the legal game, you understand. This is just someone being conservative, not wanting to get dragged into some politically motivated 
dog and pony show of a criminal investigation, right? And so as you read reports that the Attorney General's office did not talk with the judges, just understand the American system of law and its constitutional protections and understand that the real targets of the investigation are the judges, right? Who else would be involved in coming up with fake scoring of the fight? Who else, right? And so the Attorney General's office wisely spoke with the referee, and you may know him. He's one of the sport's very best. He has refereed many title fights, including some big recent fights. He's Robert Byrd. He's been refereeing for more than 30 years, right? The report literally states that Robert Byrd began refereeing boxing matches in 1980. Now, if you've bought into this nonsensical public hype, and I'm using the word nonsensical just so you understand which side of the fence I'm on, right? If you bought into this nonsensical public hype that this fight was an 11-1 or a 10-2 fight, that Timothy Bradley barely won a round in this fight, right? If you have bought into the scoring of HBO's Harold Letterman that this fight was an 11-1 fight, then you might be surprised to learn that after talking to Robert Byrd, the Attorney General's office, namely its Chief of Investigations, in their letter dated July 3rd, 2012, included the following sentence in the report. Byrd stated the Bradley Pacquiao fight was a very competitive and close fight. Let me repeat that. Byrd stated the Bradley Pacquiao a little on. Byrd stated the Bradley Pacquiao fight was a very competitive and close fight. <clears throat> you know, people who follow my blog here online and people who saw the fight, they knew that already. There is no way you can watch this fight and feel that Timothy Bradley didn't sweep the last few rounds. You know, quite frankly, several of the critics of this fight <clears throat> gave Timothy Bradley five rounds. Right? Brian Kenny gave Timothy Bradley eight rounds. I've watched this fight a few times. And it's clear that this is a competitive fight. And so what I'd like to know is in this day and age of fights like the Derek Chisora Robert Hellenius fight, fights like the Juan Manuel Marquez Manny Pacquiao fight, what is it about this fight that actually led to the request for a criminal investigation? What is it about this fight that actually warranted that public officials spend their time investigating this fight as opposed to real crimes? I mean, gee, you've got to be kidding me. Let me go further. <clears throat> the report notes that Byrd stated there was nothing which would lead him to believe this was not a legitimate fight. Right? Nothing. Not only that, the Attorney General's office actually investigated the betting patterns of the fight in conjunction with the State of Nevada's Gaming Control Board. And they actually pointed out that there were no reported abnormalities to form a basis for the Gaming Control Board to initiate <clears throat> any type of review of the betting on the Bradley 
Pacquiao fight, right? The report goes on to note that the judges and referee for the Bradley Pacquiao fight were selected pursuant to the established process during a public hearing, and there were no objections to their selection. And of course, there wouldn't be, because understand, these are three of the most experienced judges in the sport, right? So all I could say is, gee, folks who are skeptic on this fight need to get over it. Uh, let's hope there aren't any more public relations stunts, any more requests for criminal investigations that will then require public officials who are actually trying to fight real crime and to serve American citizens to actually waste time trying to figure out why Manny Pacquiao was so sluggish in the later rounds of his fight with Timothy Bradley. The fight, quite frankly, that he lost. Let me go one step further. You know, the WBO literally impaneled five judges. Think about it. Five supposedly independent judges. After the public outcry, <clears throat> after people were screaming robbery, to literally review the tape of the fight, to figure out who won this fight. Well, let me just say, as you know, these boxing commissions, in fact, boxing rankings, are largely political, right? When those five judges looked at the fight, all I can say is, when you look at the fight, how do you score the first round? Right? Forget the judges. The most important judges are your own two eyes. When you see the fight, how do you score the first round? When you watch that first round, did you think to yourself, Manny Pacquiao won this round convincingly? Oh my goodness, look at Pacquiao landing solid punches, backing up Timothy Bradley, dictating the tempo of this fight. Is that what you thought in the first round? Or did you look at the first round and think, wow, this is either an even round or Timothy Bradley's getting off first. Bradley actually has Pacquiao on his back foot. Well, all I'm saying is these five judges were so fair that all five scored the first round for Manny Pacquiao. And even with that abnormality, right? And look at the first round and tell me why it's not an abnormality. Even with that abnormality, <coughs> understand that one of the WBO's reviewing judges, after giving the first round of Manny Pacquiao, at Timothy Bradley winning five rounds. Now that's in the review. So how then was the time of American public officials in a fight where even the WBO's reviewing judges had Bradley winning several rounds? How was a criminal investigation launched after this fight? Right, every weekend there's a more lopsided fight than this fight, right? Not only that, I don't know how you look at the 10th, 11th, and 12th rounds and leave with the impression that Timothy Bradley won one round in this fight. Come on, that's ridiculous. And so all I'm saying is this, if this fight was so lopsided, given that there's a rematch clause, then why isn't Manny Pacquiao racing to remove any doubt by fighting Timothy Bradley in the fall? Maybe it's because there's too much risk. If this fight is so obviously lopsided, then why isn't it being resolved in the ring? Why are they wasting time with all these dog and pony shows? Let me just point out that the WBO continues to have Timothy Bradley as his champion.
They understand that they would face one hell of a litigation risk if they were to somehow strip Timothy Bradley after the three judges on fight night thought the fight was close. Two of the three had Manny Pacquiao losing the fight and the referee, according to the report, thought it was a competitive and close fight. In fact, the report says very competitive and close. And so this, in my opinion, is really the worst kind of dog and pony show. It's the kind of dog and pony show that wastes the resources of public officials' offices, such as the office of the Attorney General. Let me just throw a red flag here and say shame on anyone who initiated this criminal investigation. What an absolute crock. What an absolute joke. Judges scoring fights have to be able to use their best judgment in scoring a round. We need judicial independence. You can't have gimmicks like this where if you don't score a fight in favor of the popular fighter, you're suddenly subject to criminal scrutiny. Nor can you have joke scenes where after every round, the scores of the judges are released so that the crowd starts pressuring the judge as he's scoring the fight. And of course, you have the promoter glaring at the judge. You have, you know, cornermen glaring at the judge. We don't want that either. We want judicial independence, right? We want judges to know that if they're watching a fight and they think that the less popular fighter is showing the better defense, the better counterpunching, the more effectiveness that the judge can then score the round for that fighter without being investigated by the state attorney general. This is an outrage. Somebody needs to scream on this. That's what I'm trying to do now. This is a joke. Someone's going to have to explain to me why there wasn't this outcry on the one Manuel Marquez Pacquiao fight, but yet there's this outcry now, right? Where was this outcry after the Derek Chisora Robert Hellenius match? A match where, quite frankly, I thought Derek Chisora won at least nine rounds, right? Where was this outcry? My point to you is the outcry following Bradley Pacquiao was completely unwarranted. This is a joke. Please allow the state of Nevada's Attorney General to spend her time fighting crime. Not things like this. Right? Four people. Three judges. One referee. All four thought the fight was very competitive. The one of the four who scored the fight for Manny Pacquiao had Timothy Bradley winning five rounds. To the people who wanted a different outcome in this fight, all I can say is get over it. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching. By the way, I have the text of the State of Nevada's July 3rd, 2012 letter concluding their investigation available for download at gamblersadvisory.com and dwyervip.com. Thanks for watching.